Tano says, I recently traveled to Ireland and I have some travel advice. I had to take a bus at 1 a.m. in order to reach the Dublin airport on time. My plan was to charge all my devices before leaving my accommodation, but my iPhone 12 mini was charging very slowly. Then I remembered about the optimized charging. Sure enough, after switching off for a day, my phone got hotter and charged fast. My advice is that when one needs to charge phone during their normal sleep time, then turn optimized charging off. Fascinating. Yeah. Huh. I never, I mean, I, I knew that optimized charging would get you to 80% and then, you know, decide when to add the final 20%. But I didn't know that it trickle or more slowly charged. I don't want to say trickle charge because that might be the wrong term, but I didn't realize it more slowly charged. That's fascinating. That's a good tip. Huh? All right. Yeah. Now, a couple of follow-ups on that. So I've had a case where I'm out and about and I look at my phone and, and the battery charging thing is red. So you can go into low power mode. That'll give you a little boost if you don't happen to have anything to charge it with. Sure. Um, and uh, the other thing is, you know, I'm getting ready to travel here, is pack a battery pack. Mag safe or otherwise. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. Cool. More on that, or are we, uh, we good to move on to Robert? Uh, sure. All right. Cool. Pete, do you have anything more on uh, charging and traveling? Uh, the- I'll, just, I'll just second John's advice. Uh, if, if, if These days, especially if you take off without a full battery pack, back up. They're, they're so cheap, relatively speaking, yeah. for, for what you get out of them. Uh, and I've actually, you know, I've been on an airplane with people and then, do you have a cord I can borrow? Here, don't have a cord. Just, you know, you have you have a Qi charging phone. Put put this against my Qi, Qi battery and you're good. Yep. So. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, I yeah, I can't, especially, uh, you know, a flight that's four hours or more. I, it, like, I I find it, right. if I don't charge before I land, I'm in, I could be in trouble. Yeah. Especially, especially if you're, and if you've got connecting flights and things like that, where you're, you know, you're kind of bouncing around, you're going to wind up using your phone in different ways and, and burning it down. So, right. And I don't remember what brand I have, but it's, it's about an 18 to 20 milliamp, milliamp, 18 to 20,000 milliamp hour battery. But the nice thing, nicest thing about it is it has a digital uh, charge left. You know, when it goes to 100%. So I know exactly where I am on charge availability at any given time. When you find out the brand of it, let us know. We'll put that in the show notes too, Pete. do that. In fact, on uh, one of the ads, I may run upstairs and grab it. Okay. uh, Yeah, great. That sounds good. 